I'm making. They just won't ever get cool. Do you have to make candy today? I see. It's such a hot day. Well, I got all those new orders. Ed went out and got a bunch of new orders. Mine, if you saw like this, I suppose we'll be opening up a store. And that's what Ed was saying all last night. I said no. I want to be a... <laughs> Red stars and after the powder, and then the blue. That ought to do it. 
You know, Mr. Kolenkov says I'm his most promising pupil. You think with 40 monks and one girl that something would happen? <laughs> Did. 
Who was it on the water with that man? So, don't make enough noise. You get a good commencement warrior and we'll drown out a whole car on of fireworks. Say just as much, too. Well, don't the graduates ever say anything? Well, no. They just sit there, half the night down, walking up their diplomas, and along about 40 years down the line, they suddenly say, where am I? Oh, hello, Grandma. Have a nice day. Hello, have a nice day. Don't I even get kissed. Excuse me, Grandma. I'll take a tomato, too. Father. No, thanks. Mother. Oh, no thanks, dear. Oh, play something, Ed. All right. <laughs> Well, give me your hat and make yourself right at home. I'm afraid you 
must be making a mistake. How's that? My card. Wilbur C. Henderson, Internal Revenue Department. That's right. Well, what can we do for you? Does a Mrs. Martha Vanderhoff live here? Oh, yes, sir, that's me. Ah. Well, Mrs. Vanderhoff, the government wants to talk to you about a little matter of income tax. Income tax? Mind if I sit down? Go right ahead. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon me. Mr. Sycamore? What? These things are not going on. Look. Wait a second, Mr. Lopez. Grandma's been. <laughs> now, Mrs. Vanderhoff, we've written you several letters about this, but have not had any reply. Oh, that's what those letters were about. Oh, I'm told you they were from the government. According to our records, Mrs. Vanderhoff, we've never paid an income tax. That's right. Why not? I don't believe in it. <laughs> well, you own property, don't you? Yes, sir. And receive a yearly income from it? I do. Of <laughs> well, between three and four thousand dollars. About that. You've been receiving it for years. Yes, sir. 1901 is not the exact date. Well, the government's only concerned from 1914 on. That's when the income tax started. Well? Well, it seems, Mrs. Vanderhoff, that you owe the government. 24 years back income tax. Wait a second, you can't go back that far, that's outlawed. <laughs> What's your name? What difference does it make? <laughs> Ever filed an income tax return? No, sir. Ah, and what was your income last year? $28.50, wasn't it, Essie? Yes, sir. If you please. Now, Mrs. Vanderhoff, there's quite a penalty for not filing for income tax return. Mr. Henderson, let me ask you something. Well? Well, suppose I were to pay this money. Now, mind you, I don't say I'm going to pay it. But just for the sake of argument, what's the government going to do with it? How do you mean? Well, what do I get for my money? If I go to Macy's and buy something, there it is, I see it. What's the government give me? The government gives you everything. It protects you. From what? Well, invasion. Foreigners who might want to come over here and take everything you've got. No, I don't think they're going to do that. If you didn't pay an income tax, they would. How do you think the government keeps up the army, the navy, all those battleships? We haven't used battleships since the Spanish-American War. And what did we get from that? Cuba. And we gave that right back. <laughs> I wouldn't mind paying for something sensible. Sensible? What about Congress, the Supreme Court, the President? We've got to pay them, don't we? Not with my money. Now wait a minute! I'm not here to argue with you. All I know is that you haven't paid an income tax and you've got to pay it. They've got to convince me. We don't have to convince you. I just told you. All those buildings down in Washington, interstate commerce, the Constitution. The Constitution was paid for long ago. And interstate commerce. What is interstate commerce that you have? There are 48 states, see? If it weren't for interstate commerce, nothing would go for one state. To another scene. Why? They got fences? No, they haven't got fences. They've got laws. My God, I've never seen anything like this before. <laughs> well, I'm going to pay about $75, but that's all it's worth. You will pay every cent of it like everybody else. Hey, Essie, listen to this segment. Listen. And let me tell you something else. You'll go to jail. You hear that? It's the law. If you think you're bigger than the law, you've got another to fight. You're no better than anybody else. And the sooner you get that for your the better. You'll hear from the United States government. That's all I can say. Oh, 
Yes, it is, Alice. He's lovely. Well, we'll be right down. Do sit down, Mr. Kirby. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I can save you from this. Oh, no, not at all. Would you like a tomato? No, thank you. How about a piece of candy? Why, no, thanks. Oh, I forgot to introduce Mr. DePena. This is Mr. DePena, Mr. Kirby. How do you do? Oh, was I reading about your father in the paper? He was indicted or something? Hard to do that. <laughs> he only testified in front of the Securities Commission. Yes, of course. I'm sure there was nothing crooked about it, Mr. DePena. As a matter of fact, Alice has often told us what a lovely man your father is. Oh, no. Father could not get along without Alice. She knows more about the business than we all do. You're awfully young, Mr. Kirby, aren't you, to be the vice president of a big place like that? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, vice president. All I get is a desk with my name on it. Well, is that all? Don't you get any salary? Quite a bit. A bit more than I'm worth, I'm afraid. Oh, now you're just being modest. Wall Street, um, sounds a bit dull to me. Do you like it? The hours are short, and I have not been doing it for too long. Just out of college, huh? I knocked around for a bit, for a year, just to have a little bit of fun. Oh, what did you do? Travel? Why, yes. Uh, then I went to Cambridge for a year. England. That's right. Say, did you see any commencements in England? Oh, what were they like? Oh, they were very impressive. They are, huh? Anyhow, now I have to face the real world. Well, you've certainly got a good start, Mr. Kirby. Vice President and a rich father. I know, that's hardly my fault. So, now I suppose you're all ready to settle down and get married. Now wait a second, Penny. I'm sure Mr. Kirby knows his mind. I wasn't making up his mind for him. Was I, Mr. Kirby? Now, Mother, you mustn't rush him. Well, all I'm saying is he's bound to get married someday. Suppose the wrong girl gets him. Well, here I am, the vision in green. Oh, goodness. Have you all met? Oh, yes, we were just having a delightful talk about love and marriage. Oh, Tony, I'm so sorry. I can't come as soon oh, as I could. No, I didn't mind it.
funny boy. I can watch them almost every night. Oh, they are, aren't they? Of course, just watching, walk, walking into any theater gives me a thrill. Well, I had a lovely time tonight, Tony. I hate to see it end. Oh, it's over? <laughs> Do I have to go right away? Well, not if you don't want to. Oh, I don't. Oh, would you like something to drink? Wonderful. Well, let's see what's in the Xbox. Oh, would you like to come along? Oh, I'll follow you to the ends of the earth. Oh, the kitchen is just enough. <laughs>
inviting me here. Oh, but they've been together all night. <laughs> well, good night, Mr. Kirby. Good night, Alice. Good night, Mrs. Carmichael. Good night, all. Oh, S did you ask Grandma about us having that baby? Oh, yes, she said to go right ahead. <laughs> 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 Here it is. You folks don't want me? No, thank you, Donald. Did you guys have a nice evening? Yes, Donald. Was the dinner nice? Uh, yes, Donald. Was the ballet nice? Mm -hmm. Yes, Donald. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs>
and then lunch, and then how about dinner? Well, Tony, what will people say? Well, they're bound to find out somehow. By the way, you know of any rooftops? I'd like to do some shower. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir, Mr. Penn. We sure to do a good night's nice work. That's what? 500 black panthers, 300 willow trees, and 8 dozen junior kitty boppers. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> Well, I'll go back down to the shelter and 
finish packing up those fireworks? Oh, sure. Got some stuff from Mount Vernon in the morning.
How are you, Colin Cobb? Magnificent! Life is chasing around inside of me like, like squirrels. It is, huh? <laughs> oh, what about your friend in Moscow? Any more news from him? I have just heard from him. I saved him to stab him. <laughs> they have sent him to Siberia. They did? Oh, how does he like it? He has escaped. He has escaped and gone back to Moscow. He will get them yet if they do not get him. This is Soviet government. I can take the whole Soviet government and go! I'm sorry I'm late, Mr. Kolontov. I'll get into my dancing clothes right away. Tonight you will really work, Pavlova. Tonight you will take something new. Confidentially, she stinks. <laughs> <laughs> well, as long as she's having fun. So, Colin Cobb, you share your tickle Reba. <laughs> Laughing her head off in there. She is a great woman. Tell me, Donald, what do you think of the Soviet government? The what, Mr. Colin Cobb? Who withdraws the question? What do you think of this government? I like it fine. I'm on relief, you know. Ah, you like it? Yes, sir, but. I got out of this place every week and stand in line up to half an hour. I think government ought to be run better than that, don't you think, Brown? Government ought to stop sending me letters. Why do you the United States marshals off at 10 o'clock on Tuesday? Look at this. Ah, income tax. They have got me, Brown. I'm supposed to see Sid sending some money so I keep Donald on relief. You are paying it from now on? That's what they want. So I can come here and I don't have to go down there. No, I'm afraid you're going to have to waste a full half hour of your week. Well, I don't like it. Breaks up my week. You should have been in Russia when the revolution came. Then you would have stood in line a bread line. A grand line. Think of it. What they have done to Russia. The grand duchess, Olga Katrina, a cousin of the Tsar. She is a waitress in child's restaurant. I ordered baked beans from her just yesterday. It broke my heart. A crazy world, grand man. Oh, the world's not so crazy. Well, it's the people in it. But life's pretty simple if you just relax. How can you relax in times like these? Well, if they relax, there wouldn't be times like these. That's my point. Life's a beautiful thing if you just let it come to you. But the trouble is people forget that. I know I did. I was right in the thick of it. Clawing, fighting, scratching. Regular jungle. And one day it struck me. I wasn't having any fun. So you did what? Just relax. Thirty-five years ago, that was, and I've been a happy woman ever since. Oh, hello, Colin Cobb. Miss Alice, I have not yet seen you to present my congratulations. Well, thank you, Mr. Colin May you be very happy and have many children. That is my prayer to you. Well, that is certainly an idea. <laughs> <laughs> love, love is the only thing left in the world, Grandma. Yes, but there's plenty of that. Soon Stalin will have that too. I tell you, correct my mother. So they don't get to my heart things again. Oh, they still look all right, don't they, Grandma? Indeed. <laughs> you are a fresh breath of Paris, Madame Seymour. <laughs> Why, thank you, Mr. Colin Cobb. I didn't know you was working for the WPA. Oh, no, Donald. You see, I used to paint all the time. And then How can they? Again! There was a man following me everywhere I went. Nonsense, Ed. That's just your imagination. No. Maybe, maybe you wanted some candy. It's all right for you to laugh, Grandma. <laughs> he follows me. You do not know followers. In Russia, everyone is followed. I was followed right out of Russia. Of course. You see, Ed, it's just your imagination. Well, maybe. <laughs> <laughs>
won two games of cards last night, and I gotta do better than that. You all ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, don't worry. 
is not indigestion at all, Mr. Kirby. Perhaps you have stomach ulcers. Mm -hmm. Welcome, welcome, sir. Don't mind Mr. Colin Cobb, Mr. Kirby. He's a Russian, and they tend to focus on the darker side. <laughs> all right. I am Russian, but a friend of mine is Russian. He died from stomach ulcers. <laughs> no, he died. Mr. Kirby, it's just I mean, Mr. Colin Cobb, it's just indigestion. All right, let him wait.
sorry, Mr. Kirby. But of course, next time you wrestle, you will not wear glasses. I do not intend to wrestle again, Mr. Colin Pop. Mr. Colin Pop, how could you do such a thing? Why did any of you stop him? Perhaps we better be going.
see how Mrs. Kirby's mind works. This is Mrs. Kirby. Okay. Potatoes. Starch. Oh, I know just what you mean, Mrs. Kirby. Oh, dear. Bathroom. Mr. Kirby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, where was I? Uh, lust? Human. Human. Really, Mary It's just, after all, lust is a human emotion. I disagree. Lust is not a human emotion. It is to pray. Bring you on, Anthony. I'm wrong. No, I really do think we should play another game. How about 20 questions? Yes! No! I find this thing really <laughs> what was the next word? <laughs> Honeymoon. Oh, and what was Mrs. Kirby's answer? Honeymoon. Dull. <laughs> <laughs> Get them into people's homes? The love dreams. 
But I don't need anything by it. I you do that, huh? Dynamite the Capitol. Dynamite the White House. <laughs> Dynamite the Supreme Court. God is the state. The state is God. But I don't need anything by it. I just like to print. Don't I, Grandma? The government has nothing to fear of Ed. Printing is just his hobby. I'll go print anything. He will, huh? I've never heard of such nonsense. I refuse to stay here. Hey, do you even know who I am? I am Let me do my part, will you? Shut up, you. We were right. They got enough gunpowder down that would the whole city. Oh, no, that's only for- Keep still. Everybody in this house is under arrest. But let's do it!